So hello friends, this is Rupesh and you're watching C Vinet video series on C++ multi-threading and this is about producer consumer but with semaphore. So before this we have a producer consumer video which is with mutex and you understand like how mutex work right? You have a critical section and then you will guard the starting access point and then whoever gets that will be allowed to do the job. But in actually semaphore, semaphore I already talked about right like in previous videos what is the difference between mutex and semaphore if you have not watched that video you might get that video's link somewhere here maybe here yeah and there we saw semaphore is actually a signaling mechanism so producer will actually signal to the consumer saying that okay i have done producing the job and i mean whatever the task i was provided you can start consuming and once consumer is done like whatever the buffer it had to actually consume then it will notify back to the producer saying that okay I have consumed and then you can start producing again. So this is a classical problem right we all know that. So let me uh, draw a little bit and then we'll go like how it actually works. So for that we have a semaphore data type in our C++ programming language and it's called std binary semaphore or I'll do one thing I won't write all that I'll just say signal producer and we'll have another variable and this will be initialized with one and we'll have signal consumer and this is going to be zero. Why there is this difference? We'll see that. Let's say we have a producer section here and we have a consumer section here. Okay. We'll check this signal producer SP and try to acquire it in the beginning itself. Acquiring meaning you will try to decrement this and remember this is a binary semaphore so only 0 and 1 are allowed and 1 meaning you can actually acquire the lock and 0 meaning you are not allowed because it is already acquired or you are not allowed kind of thing. So signal producer will try to acquire it is initially 1 so this producer and consumer will actually start from main right we have a main function from there they will start at the same time. But then you have to synchronize which one will start first. In the beginning itself, consumer doesn't make any sense because if nothing is there to consume, what it will consume? Now, to do that, you have to say, okay, producer, you start first. So this is the reason we have to keep it one. And here, signal consumer dot acquire will happen. And the moment it will try to acquire, it is already zero. It will wait here. It won't go ahead. So this much portion, let's say, is for acquiring sorry or consuming the job and then we'll say signal producer dot release and after producing it will say signal consumer dot release so i told you right this is going to start first it did the production part and then it is saying signaling the consumer that i'm releasing on what variable you are actually waiting now this will be able to acquire the lock because it is released release meaning its value is now one releasing will actually do plus plus to the value and acquiring will do minus minus meaning it will decrement the value so initially it was zero right it was zero that's why it was waiting it could not acquire the lock now it is plus plus meaning it is incremented by one now it can acquire the lock it will consume and by the time as we all know that this whole thing is in a loop this is also in a loop and this is also in a loop it will release and then it will go and ask for acquiring the lock as it is already acquired. Now notice it is very important. It is already acquired by producer and this is a binary semaphore. It won't be allowed to acquire again because it is already zero. Now after consuming, see this is the best part. Now from consumer side, you are saying that signaling the producer saying that now you can start producing. So here we are saying release. Cool, right? So this is how it will work in the synchronization. It is so beautiful code. If I'll take you there, let me just, so let me run this, we'll run and see what a nice, beautiful simulation of producing and consuming. I have tried to kept using this sleeping. So let me kill this because this is kind of an infinite job. Producer will keep on producing and consumer will keep on consuming. So now pause the video and try to understand this piece of code. So I told you, right? We will use two variables. So these are the value of those variables. Signal to producer is initially one and signal to consumer is actually zero. And this is the code. 
as we saw producer will try to acquire first and it will be able to acquire because we have kept the value one now it will be able to decrement it and then this is some sort of simulation like what this producer is doing it will just doing some task and filling this buffer and i'm just simulating this using this little bit delay so that it is taking some time and then we are saying it is releasing the consumer meaning it is actually incrementing it always remember releasing meaning incrementing then it will start because they both if you see here we created producer and consumer at the same time meaning they both started kind of at the same time so consumer was waiting here and don't forget to join otherwise I mean, they are not going to come out, but eventually if your production is done, you may have to come out, right? So this joins will make sense that time. Otherwise, it's an undefined behavior. So I know I have not talked about like a theory part of producer and consumer stuff. And if you want to cover that, you should consider watching this video, which is about producer consumer using mutexes. Okay. So guys, if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends because they should also know that, right? Bye-bye, take care.